Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a makeup tutorial for neutral tones. So first I'm going to prime with the Nivea Sensitive Post Shave Foam. Um, it sounds funny, like it wouldn't be a primer, but um, uh, the wonderful Nikki Tutorials recommended this and I really like it. So yeah, we're gonna prime with this. So we're just gonna blend that in and then just wait for it to dry a little bit. As I mentioned in my last tutorial, I wanted to try um, a sample that I got in my recent Sephora haul the Tarte um, Rainforest of the Sea Foundation and um, got it right here, it's in light neutral so let's see how this goes expect it to be a little watery because that's what I've heard and I am of course using my Makeup Forever 122 Straight and Wavy brush okay, it is kind of watery as you can see so I'm just going to um, Put my finger in here and then put it on my hand. Oh, it's very watery. And then grab the brush and just start putting on. I wonder if I put it directly in the hot sponge. No, that seems to work great. The sun came out just in time for me to film this video. This does seem like it would probably be very hydrating because it is a water base. The thing you do get with water based foundation sometimes is little streaks. So just get that hair out of the way. Just gonna make sure we don't have any streaks. This is definitely not a sheer foundation by any means because there is a lot of coverage with it and I don't think I put on that many applications of it. It is a bit darker, I don't know if you can tell in this lighting, but it is a bit darker than what I think that I would need. Um, I just saw the Nike swoosh on my leggings and I thought that that was like something that spilled. No. <laughs> okay, but um, I guess with most foundations, I really can't tell until the end of the day how it lasted. If it like, if my oil and my T zone comes back up, then it's like not the best foundation. But if it somehow kept it matte throughout the day in the T zone then I'm just usually very impressed, so we'll see. So far so good though, um, it is very cool. The one thing is uh, that there's no fragrance to it. Shit, is that fragrance? I really, I just don't know what to say about, about me sometimes. Anyway, I never really was used to there being a scent in my foundations. Except for, I know that the Luminous Silk one from Giorgio Armani, that has a scent. I think most, I mean, now I can't really say for sure, but I think that they have the scent, most of them do. And now that there isn't one, I'm kind of like, but where's my nice little perfume smell? So that is one thing that I wish it had a nice scent to it. Okay, now we're going to conceal with the Naked Skin Urban Decay concealer. It's almost like you're putting on winged eyeliner but like below the eyes. Not like a lower line wing but just like a concealer wing. And I'm using my 144 Makeup Forever Wavy Brush to conceal. Now I'm using the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder to set the concealer. And, 
and I also use my support powder brush too. Now we are going to do the eyebrows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in chocolate. Wait, the cap just rolled away. Found it. Just gonna go under the brow. Make sure I have the parallel lines, the top corners. going to put on some clear brow gel, also from Anastasia Beverly Hills. We're going to prime our eyelids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I really think that this makes a difference. Even more so if you were to just put on primer and foundation on your eyes because, I mean if you use those as a primer, because yesterday I did this and my eyeshadow was still as if I had just put it on at like 10.30pm. I was like sad to wash it off because it looked like I had just done it. Granted, it probably was like 1 p.m. by the time I put it on. I still feel like it lasted quite a long time, which is what you want. So for today's eye look, we're going for neutral tones. And I kind of wanted this to also be a more natural look too. So I'm not going to use any um, eyeshadow brushes for this one. Because I want it to be as light as possible and not quite so pigmented. But feel free to use brushes if you want. That's how you like to do your eyes. I'm using the MAC palette. Um, it's in cool neutral. And we are going to start out with the, um, this one here. There's no <laughs> names, so it's just that one. It's like a little grayish one. And we're gonna sweep this all over the lid and eyelash. Eyelashes. It's hard to really sweep too much on there because you do have the primer on there that is a bit um, sticky, I guess. Like it won't really let you move. It won't really let you move about the eyelid. Just, you know, put it on a few times, see what you can get on your lid, and try to bring it up as much as you can. Literary brown shade. And you can use this one. We're going to take a little bit lighter shade. And this one right here, it's a sparkly lighter brown. And we're going to put that sort of in the center of the lid and using your middle finger this time. You want to see that glitter going? Put in this white color to highlight the brow bone. brown um, that we just saw us use, that we just used, and we're going to put it under the eye a bit. We're also going to want to put it in the inner corners of the eye. You can see how the light really catches on the um, glittery part. We're going to do some eyeliner. We're going to use a Sephora Long Lasting Cold Pencil in 6 Deep Brown. I 
now we are going to use the Rimmel London Scandal Eyes Retro Glam Mascara in the shade 3 Ex Extreme Black. And um, this is quite a nice brush. So you can see, did I show you this? So we're just gonna see how this goes, because I've never tried this before. When I decided to stop using the waterproof mascara, just so that my eyelashes would be in better health, is that the thing? Um, I picked up quite a few ones to try, and I was so enamored with the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly one that I just tried that for like two straight weeks, and I'm just now getting around to trying some of the other ones, so we'll see. And it feels like you're going in with a Swiffer, just the shape of it, like you're dusting or something. We're gonna do the lower lashes. My hair would stay out of the way, maybe. You can probably tell this is very clumpy mascara, very thick. So if you like that look, then that's good. I think it nicely balances out the sort of paler uh, neutral tone shades we did for the eyeshadow. So it is kind of a cool look to do the clumpy mascara with that. But on a day-to-day -day level, I feel like this would be kind of a, kind of a high maintenance thing because the wand is that big. But um, like with the foundation, I like to wait until the end of the day to really know what this product is capable of and what it's going to do later on. Um, well, it survives like, wind and rain and just like when I roll my eyes and stuff. <laughs> but so far so good. I, I like this so much better than um, that Maybelline one and I looked at what it was called. It's the, the Great Lash. <laughs> it's called the Lash Sensation or they may be not so lucky. So I do love this Rimmel one way more than that. It's like a running thing on my channel. I just don't like the mascara. What we're doing now is because we put on um, the eyeshadow and some of it fell, we're just going back in with the powder um, that are the eye. Just lightly dust. In the past, I had put on concealer after I had done all my eye makeup, because that was my way of cleaning up anything, but I don't do that anymore because I feel like it messes up if you wanted to have eyeshadow go under the eyes. It goes too far up and makes it look too clean and too perfect and not really a good look, so I think just lightly going over this with um, the powder again, or even just the powder brush, so you don't have that much, is a better alternative. I'm just going to do some quick bronzing. I'm using the Elmay Smart Shade Bronzer and my Dior uh, Kabuki brush. Doesn't it sort of feel like you're flipping someone off? It just feels very like so. And even though in my last tutorial I said I wasn't that thrilled with the NARS sample blush that I got from Sephora the shade Gulu Gule. I still I thought about it and thought it's just a different kind of blush. It's a, a deeper one. It, it's kind of warming up your face and I thought I'd give it another try. So we're doing that. Um, very cool. And then um, the 150 wavy angled brush is what I use for my blush and highlight. The Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. Also going to do a little on the top of the arch. And if it's we are going to do the lips. I'm using the Burt's Bees Honey Lip Balm to moisturize first.
And now I'm going to use the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Abu Dubai. And it's a liquid lipstick that I just think is really a nice shade. And that is just a neutral tone that still, if you wanted your lips to be darker than your eyes, which I feel like doing lately, then that's a way to still be neutral. And then, and I noticed the pigment on that lasts a long time. It lasts all throughout the day. I'm going to set our makeup with the Fresh Rose Floral Toner. Can you think of that on the Um... So that should be try enough. Um, but you get the idea. So this is just something you can do for um, everyday neutrals or any day neutrals if that's what you feel like doing. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if there's any looks you'd like me to try in my next video. See you guys later.